of Famer Aspiration for uh, two years now. <coughs> so I'm going to give a brief introduction of my first talk, what I'm going to talk about today, uh, the overview of performance and basically its history, usage and features. And after that, I'm going to give a brief introduction on technical background of Hopper the architecture, the technologies in use, and the Hopper core and its modules, and how to get involved with Hopper MRS if you like to do. So I will start with our core with Hopper MRS. So Hopper MRS is basically MRS means medical record system. It's all about a, a, a healthcare ID system. Open RS is an open source healthcare system software platform. We are starting uh, from uh, developing countries, and our target is to develop a, a healthcare ID system uh, which can uh, implement for any uh, part of the world. And this very great project it, uh, had uh, supported and funded by lots of organizations in the world, like World Health Organization, Google, CDC, IDRC, and lots of others. Um, Operas first went live in uh, Kenya in 2006, February in Ampat. So it has been uh, uh, like around 10 years now and it has a very uh, mature code base now. <coughs> so information is scary. As I uh, mentioned earlier, you can uh, help writing codes and saving lives. So earlier, the the, the, these people were uh, based on uh, paper-based uh, uh, systems and they were uh, using papers to uh, collect health information and keeping them on files but afterwards they have uh, after uh, migrating to open space systems uh, they, was, they were very easier and they can uh, quickly manage those uh, patient-centric information and health information so basically, OpenMRI is an uh, electronic medical record system and a data model, an API, HIV TV system, a primary care system, and a great developer community and uh, implementer community as well. So these are uh, some, some of the screenshots of OpenMRI's web application. We also have an uh, Android application and the iOS application for mobile usage. So, I will tell you more about the system later on. And uh, these are the places where it's been used. It's been used in uh, almost every part of the world. Uh, actually, it's used mainly in uh, African countries, the resource, uh, low, low resource uh, environments, and also in uh, lots of Asian countries as well. These are the features basically of our MRS. The central concept dictionary uh, is the main, uh, actually the heart of our MRS system. It's very extensible because of this concept dictionary. And it has a security of authentication systems and privilege based access for various roles like doctors, nurses, and uh, other healthcare uh, workers. And uh, patient repository. Um, I will tell you the others, uh, the, the, the important ones, the standard support like HL Healthcare 7 and FHIR, uh, <coughs> interoperability between systems, and um, things like that, and localization for various uh, languages. Um, I will give you a brief uh, technical background of Opera System now. It's basically written, if you are a developer, it's basically written J2E uh, and related its technologies. Uh, it's using Spring MVC and uh, hybrid object relational mapping uh, and uh, in the service way it's using um, Java and it has a separate uh, open branch framework built upon uh, Java APIs. And it has a REST API for web services, uh, connecting with web services, and just for coding and uh, for the form uh, form collection, it has a separate modules like uh, X forms and uh, HTML forms. Um, so 
So basically, Operance is very extensible. Uh, it has, uh, it has a modular architecture, and uh, um, some of the function uh, of Operance is pulled onto modules instead of being written into a uh, core application. Uh, you can imagine it, it, it's, it's, it can implement from uh, Phoenix to highly complex hospitals. It's over now? You have five minutes. You have five minutes. Okay. So from uh, small clinics to highly uh, complex hospitals, uh, you can cover up every, uh, any uh, hospital using open system. For small clinics, you can install the open core, the OPD module, and set up other modules. For complex hospitals, you can install the open with other the sections you need, like laboratory, operation theater, pharmacy module, and etc. So if you need uh, uh, newer functionality, you can uh, use your own developers and uh, you can develop your own module and uh, integrate with OpenMS Core. So uh, if you'd like to get involved with our great project, um, these are the ways you can contribute to OpenMS, not only coding. You can do things like testing, quality assurance, documentation, user interface. If you are a UI UX guy, you can help with our user interface team and project infrastructure, localization, and things like that. So for the more information, you can visit our website, www.openrest.org. And if you'd like to uh, learn more about our uh, project Open Rise, join with our hands-on session today, um, evening to uh, 3 30 to 4 at Open Space. Thank you very much. Question. Uh, it's one question. There's also got something called Open Health, and I was just wondering how does it relate to uh, like, other competitors? Do you know about the Open Health project? I think it's based on an ER, um, ERP. Python? Yeah, I think uh, there are some, some projects like uh, um, uh, Danny, Danny, can you mention those names? I couldn't, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear. Uh, so I was asking how does it compare or compete with Open Health, which is based on the Python based uh, Open Health? Oh, uh, GNU Health. GNU Health, yeah. sorry. GNU Health. Um, the, the difference is GNU Health is more of a turnkey out of the box system where we build more of an enterprise system that's customized to workflows <coughs> and specific types of healthcare settings. Um, so if you want something very quick, um, good about is more suited to that. If you want something um, more comprehensive, you might want to get open press, get the necessary modules, and build your application package. Bye-bye.